today I'm going to do a get ready with me and, and tip. And I'm going to use my Morphe X Jacqueline Hill palette in Ring the Alarm. Is that what it's called? Yep, Ring the Alarm. And um, just talk about a few things. Hi, this is Laura from Blood Star Work here and I do painting and colourful makeup. So if you are if you would be interested in that, then just stick around. Today I'm doing a makeup look. So I'm going to use my Shop My Stash stamp, which um, I don't know if I've posted that yet. But if, if, if I haven't posted my Shop My Stash, then it's coming. <laughs> but I wanted to just do a get ready with me and use some of the stuff in my Shop My Stash and just chat a bit. So I'm going to use my Morphe x on Hill Ring the Alarm palette that the beautiful Katie Leslie gifted to me. And I'm gonna. My, my goal for the Shop My Stash for this one was I wanted to use every colour, so that's why I'm using it. But I'm probably gonna go into this palette as well. Ready Daydream by Makeup Obsessions, which is um, part of Makeup Revolution. Is that correct? Yeah. So it's part of the Makeup Revolution. They have like I Heart Revolution and Revolution well, well, Pro, because I've got. Pro here, Makeup Obsessions is on that website as well. So I, I may end up in, in some of the yellows and that in there as well because what I'm discovering about this palette is it's got some dark colours and it's got mid-tones but it's got no lights and there are no light tones in this palette. So it's kind of, it's not as dimensional as I would like. <laughs> So I've just washed my brushes, so I'm going to be searching in my clean brushes, trying to unlock myself because my other brushes are all still wet. <laughs> and I think I'm going to go in with Rush to start off with. I'll do this one here. And I'm going to move my mirror closer so I can see what I'm doing. So you're going to see my mirror in, in the shots, so but otherwise I can't see. <laughs> so I'm going to start off with Rush and that around here. It's um it's a darker colour than what I think it is in the pan, but I don't know that it is. It, it, it does look the same. It's just when you look at it in the pan I think it's lighter or, or more mustardy. Probably because it's surrounded by the colours that it's surrounded it by make it look more mustardy, but it is actually the colour on my eye when I put the pan next to it. That is the colour. <laughs> it's just deceiving with the colours next to it. So how is everybody? We have now been officially in lockdown for two days. People were kind of gearing up for it before that because we were in stage three for a little while. Not very long. N not even a week, I don't think. Before it was going into stage four, it was like... We were in stage two for quite a while, and then um, I said, okay, we're in stage three, and good night, Wednesday, we're going in stage four, so get prepared. <laughs> it was all quite rushed, but I am happy that the government decided to do that, because it's like New Zealand, it's in lockdown at the moment, because it means that they're get, being really proactive and trying to get ahead of the virus, which I think is really sensible. We're a small country, a long way from everywhere, and we should be able to contain it if people follow the rules. Okay, now I've gone out of the Jack on Hill palette and I've gone into the Daydream palette and I'm using this Bumblebee colour, which is a mustardy yellow, because I wanted that kind of mustardy yellow it's a little bit brighter. So I've been watching a few people's videos and get ready with me and talking about oh they're staying home and trying to keep busy and doing stuff. But I think my situation is slightly different because I wasn't going out to work anyway because I have a um, chronically ill husband and I have to stay home with him anyway. So yeah, I haven't been working for a while, so I've been um, used to staying at home 
and I was I was a stay-at-home mum for years and I was just doing relief teaching and things so I'm I'm actually used to being home and the difference is that my daughter's not at school at the moment and my dad who lives on the same property as us he doesn't live in the same house but he lives like across our driveway on the same property so he may as well live in our house because he spends lots of time here <laughs> So I'm kind of used to being at home and organising my home life. I'm going to go into, I think I'm going to go into mug shop, mud, mug shop. Hopefully something I will never have. <laughs> um, so I'm kind of used to being at home and organising my time and filling up my day. And I, I always have too much to do. I always run out of day before. I run out of things on my list to do. I have to actually learn how to plan less things to do because I get to the end of the day and I haven't done everything I was going to do. And you might think, well, what do you fill your day with then? Well, I, because I'm an artist, I paint, which always takes ages, and I do YouTube doing makeup and art videos. It takes forever, especially when you do editing and takes longer than I think it's going to take and I also um, I have a blog, an art blog and I have an art website and so for work wise I do all that stuff and that, that could easily fill up my whole day and more but I try, try and balance it out with doing other things um, I'm not very good at balancing my life out though I have to admit and that's what we've got so far and I'm going to go into on camera, this one here, with a fake brush. So, um, apart from doing all that, I am being busy with decluttering, and we've got, we're still trying to renovate our kitchen, so there's plenty of mess to clean up, especially in our laundry, which is next to the kitchen, because that's where a lot of the mess has ended up. And my dad's doing a lot of the work, so he's busy building where he can't go with it. Mum. <laughs> he's 83 and just absolutely amazing. I don't know where he gets all his energy from, but I want some of it. <laughs> and, um, no, that's, that's turning out the way I was thinking. I'm pretty happy with that so far. And I'm going to use... I think. No, no, that's completely the wrong colour. <laughs> what I use. I'm trying to think of which. I don't know. I might use. I, I might use this one. I, I don't even know where I got this from. Where did I get this from? Bodyography Bali Bronze Eye Pencil. Looks like. Hang on, I'll wipe the other one off. Looks like this. Um, <laughs> I was listening to Nona from My So Called Life and she was saying how she knows all her makeup and where it came from and everything. And, um, yeah, that's a good colour. It's a bit lighter, but I'm going to go over it with some eyeshadow anyway. But it's the right tone I was looking for. And she's, she was saying how she um, remembers all her makeup and where she got it from and everything about it. And my memory just doesn't work like that. Oh, not with anything, I don't. I remember some things, but I don't remember everything. Like, I could have got this in my one and only subscription box that I bought. Or I could have got this from Helene, from Him Makeup, when she sent a box. I can't remember, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Helene, if you sent it to me and I can't remember. But it's the only pencil I have in this kind of tone of colour and it's perfect for what I'm doing. And now I want a little one and I'm going to go back and I'm going to go into mag shot and then I'll go into rush and do the bottom lash line. So um, yeah, I'm used to filling up my days and being busy and having way too much to do. And I, we've got, we've got a one acre property here so there's plenty of gardening to do at all times 
we're try actually trying to reduce some of the workload in that. Half of our property is down the cliff, so we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> I'm just going in to rush. Let that go up a bit. I always found <laughs> when I had my kids and they were little, and we used to go to play group, and a lot of the mums there were like, "Oh, what do you do all day? Do you get bored staying at home with the kids?" I have never had that problem. I never get bored staying at home. So I'm, I'm having a different problem <laughs> at the moment. Apart from the fact that we can't go out. I don't go out that much. And um, I'm trying not to buy too much. So not going out actually is working with me at the moment. And I think I'm ready to do my base. So I'll do that while I'm traveling. Otherwise, I'll just sit here and talk to you and not get anything around. It's quite hard to... Um, stuff at the same time. I lose my train of thought. So my problem at the moment is because I've got my daughter home and my dad home, they keep wanting to talk to me. So I go to do something and they're trying to talk to me all the time. And so I don't get anything done. So I get to the end of the day and they're like, oh, oh, I haven't got that much done today. <laughs> So, I'm actually talking more than I was before. <laughs> so, weird, weird, weird problem when you're in lockdown. Because <laughs> there are just more people in the house. Usually it's pretty quiet here with just my husband and I, with my daughter at school all day. And my dad um, stays with my mum in the nurse's home all morning. And then he comes home at lunchtime and then comes over here in the afternoon to do a bit of building and he'll talk for a little while then but because he's already been talking to nurses and things all morning we sort of catch up and then he goes and builds and does his thing and I just realised I haven't got a makeup sponge here so I'm going to have to go and get my makeup sponge hang on a minute okay got my makeup sponge and wet it so um, yeah so I've ended up talking a lot more than I normally do and my daughter is a social butterfly she loves company and has always loved company so um for her not being able to be in contact with her friends like she can contact them on the internet and but not being able to see them and hang around them is um <laughs> it's, it's really hard for her even though it's only been a couple of days so she wants to hang around and talk and same with my dad, he's a bit of a social butterfly too, he loves talking to people. And I am not <laughs> a social butterfly. I like my alone time and my quiet times. So we're a bit opposite like that. <laughs> so that's going to be my challenge. It's a bit different from other people who are going crazy because they can't go out or talk to people and see people. My, my challenge was more that I need some time to just do my thing. <laughs> Yeah, and I love my family dearly, and I love that they, they're here, and um, I'm not complaining, I'm just saying it's different, and we need to figure out <laughs> how, to, how to do this. So it's quite um, different from when I had my daughter home last year and the year before, because she's in a much better mind space. It's very ironic, because... Um, she suffers from severe anxiety, which is based around school. And last year, she was having a lot of trouble going to school, and she ended up on correspondence for a while. And because she was feeling down about that, she wasn't very talkative at that point. But she's feeling a lot better, and she's actually been going to school all year and hasn't had a single day off, and now she can't go to school. It's a bit sad, really. <laughs> I've just squirted stuff all over my phone, so I'm just cleaning it. <laughs> So, um, yeah, it's like, she's used to being at home, but she's, because she's been going to school now for a little bit, and she really wants to go to school, and she always wanted to go to school, but it was the anxiety that stopped her from going to school. And now she's like, well, I can't go to school now. But at least she is used to working online, which is what they're doing, for the next four weeks at least. And then um, we have two weeks holidays, so she'll be home at least six weeks. And we'll see what happens after that. If P 
people have been good and stayed home and we've the spread of the virus has been controlled. So I've had um, lots of fun doing some makeup decluttering, which you will be seeing. I think you would have um, already seen. I've been doing my inventory and a little bit of decluttering is what I've been doing. So I'm pretty sure that'll be up by the time you see this one, because I'm uploading my eyeshadow declutter and inventory right now, as we speak. Just gonna put on my Astralis Primer Serum first base mascara because I forgot to look for a promotion at one which is when I usually do it. I really want a brown liquid eyeliner but I haven't got one. I suppose I could make one, couldn't I? Hang on. If I can... Oh, where did I put it? Looking for my jewelry line that I used yesterday. Here it is. So, what colour brown do I want? What is secret? Looks like a nice rich chocolate brown. I don't think that's focusing. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to scrape some of that off. The thing I usually use to scrape things with, I wash so I don't have that on me either. So I will just get this tiny little tool. It's actually a nail tool. But I was using it for depotting stuff. It was working really well for that, but I think I've decided I don't really like depotting stuff. <laughs> I did one video on it of me depottering, depottering, <laughs> depotting the Sofix palette, the first one, and um, I, I have that in front of me actually because I wanted to show it to you, and I also used the dark brown out of there for my eyebrows. So I've just mixed that with my jewelry line and I'm going to attempt to do my eyeliner with my little tiny paintbrush but um, I'm not going to talk while I do that so I will do that and then I'll come back. So I've done my liquid liner and a dark brown and now what do I want to do? I've powdered and now I want to contour. I'm going to use my contour palette. I'm using this one here. And you find a contour brush. I like using these brushes, these shaped brushes. I've got three different ones so I can rotate them out and wash them in between. And this is an elf one, but it doesn't actually matter which one it is. I like all of them that kind of shape for doing the contour because I can just control where it's going. But as I was saying, I just I don't need that I like potting that much and when I, when I did it I was fine with it and it wasn't that hard some of it was a bit tricky and I lost a couple of shades but what I've found is since I've done it a lot of the shades and I've put them in my little magnetic palettes here they're kind of cracking and I've had to repress a lot of them so that, that's an actual single so that's not part of it and these two are actual singles as well but ones that they're just sort of cracking and falling apart a bit even though I go back and repress them but chunks are falling out of them and you can see like in here a big chunk just has fallen out a chunk has fallen out of this one as well these are from some different palettes a chunk fell out of this one and this one had repress, it was falling apart. And it just, um, it, they end up looking messy, and I don't like that. So, and, and I'm losing a lot of product, not that I haven't got a lot of product, but I've decided at the moment I'm not going to do any. So, I have one depotting video on my channel, and I made a playlist for it because I thought I was going to do more, but I don't think I am. I don't think. It's actually my thing. I think if I was going to have ones um, out, like if I'm, uh, what am I trying to say? I think I'd rather have singles to play with 
or ones in um, magnetic pans that I can pop in and out easily so I'm not causing any damage because I actually quite like having them in their actual pellets and the only reason why I depotted um, this one was because it was actually falling apart I hang on and then I got my concealer out I got some on my lens Yeah, I have a little bit of splotch on my face now. <laughs> um, you might be having a heart attack over how I cleaned that if I, if I left it in. But I've actually got a lens protector on my lens. So I'm not actually cleaning the lens of the camera, I'm cleaning the lens protector. Because when I bought my camera, I knew I'd be painting and when I was using my phone, I would splatter my phone with paint in it. I knew that would happen with my camera as well. So um, I wasn't actually using... I wasn't actually rubbing my lens, I was rubbing the lens protector to get it clean. <laughs> so the lens will stay nice and clean and unscratched and not dusty or anything. And I've also got it all over the place. This one's the messiest I have ever been with my makeup, I think. Just making a mess everywhere. So this is why I keep a bottle of window cleaner here so I can clean mirrors and stuff while I'm working. So I did my contour. Anyone else had their cheeks kind of different? Like, I do my contour here, and then this one kind of goes down like this. Even though there's no contour there, it's the natural shadow on my face make it makes it look like it goes down. Whereas this one doesn't do that. Or maybe it's just the light. I, I don't know. I'm just rumbling. <laughs> And I'm going to bronze. I'm using my e.l.f. bronzer. I need a bronzing brush. And my favourite bronzing brush is uh, this shape. Swirl it around. This one here is starting to get hard to get the product out because it's kind of going a little hard. So I have to sort of scrape a little bit and mix it all up to get it to really work properly now. That's what I have. I'm trying to pan it, so it'll just pan faster, won't it? <laughs> if I have to do that on a regular basis, I don't have to do it every time, but every third or fourth time I do, if I want to get enough product on my brush to actually look like I'm bronzing my face because it's quite a light looking bronzer mixed all together anyway. And now I'm going to go in with my Ofra Star Island highlighter, which um, Kelly also gave me. I shall link Kelly down below. If I forget, remind me, Kelly. Because I'm pretty sure you'll watch it because you're so wonderful like that and watch all my videos. I do try and watch all my friends' videos. I don't always get to all of them, it depends. <laughs> It depends how often they post. <laughs> if they post too often, I don't quite get down to all of them. I'm sorry, because I ran out of time. <laughs> and I'm going to go back into here and get this colour here, which is nearly finished. And just kind of tidy up underneath to make sure I haven't gone too low with bronzer and stuff. I usually put my blush on before I do that, but whatever. <laughs> And now I'm going to go for blush, and I'm going into my Revolution Pro palette. And what colour do I want? I think I want this colour today. I think it goes with my eye look. These are really, really pigmented. I got these for Christmas. My girls bought me one of them, brought me this one, and the other one brought me the highlighter one. Which, do I have that out? No, I don't have that out at the moment. It was the wrong colour, if I remember right there. So, I just need. It picks up heat, and if like, I put it on my hand, see how bright that is, and that's just a bit too much, so I don't need a lot. If you don't like warm tones, you, you will not like this colour. But I like warm tones, so I like this colour. I just use it very cautiously. I love orange, which is why this palette really attracted me. And 
behind. Behind. Uh, I'm gonna have spring face. It's like pretty fresh. Saving spray. <laughs> and what colour do I want to go for? This is the wall of Shimmer from TT. I'm going to go into this one, which is called Natural. And my, I've only got one actual tiny, like it's a highlighter brush that looks like this, but it's a little bit bigger, which I really like for that, just that extra pop of highlight. But I've only got one and I've washed it, so I keep trying to use these fan brushes, but I, I, they just don't work that well for me. But this one's a bit fatter, so I'm going to try this one. Really, I love a fan brush for. I love a fan brush for my um, painting, but I don't like it for my face. It just, it just doesn't work for me. Maybe I'll just use a fluffy eyeshadow brush. Just is there anything I can forget? What to use? <laughs> just for that little extra shimmer, because I like to um, buff it in. Use my other brush. I keep doing my cupid's bow, but then I don't like it. <laughs> you see other people do it, and I'm like, oh, I should have go with that, but then I don't like the way it looks on me. <laughs> I just feel like I end up looking like I've got a moustache. Take the white one. That's what I look like so far. And I think I will do my mascara and then I'll try some lipstick. Okay, I'm looking at my look and I've decided just to add a couple of things. One of them being an inner corner highlight. So I want to go in with, I'm using my Milani Metallic. Must have metallics, it's called. And I'm gonna go in with number two, which is this one here. I just wanna lighten that bit up a little bit. And then I want to use number one, which is this creamy colored one, and put that on the inner corner. what I wanted to do. I, I just felt it was missing that lightness, which is what I think is the problem for me with this palette. It's got beautiful colours and I've been really enjoying using them, but I always have to go on to something else to get the light colours, those shimmery lights and things that I like to use. So now I'm just going to figure out which lipstick. I don't think that's going to be hard. I think I'm going to use the Soft Toffee in my Ultra 3 because it looks like probably the closest I've got that's going to go with it I look. I feel very matchy lately. I like to match. So I just used the Rimmel London Tiramisu lip pencil, which is not the right colour. <laughs> but close enough. And here's a bit of a disaster, but never mind. We'll just we'll just pretend it looks nice, shall we? <laughs> and that is my final look using my Shop My Stash stuff, which um, I'm going to try and get up very soon if it's not already up. <laughs> and my Jaclyn Hill Bring the Alarm palette, that's beautiful. 
We did a makeup swap. So I can send her some stuff and she sent me some stuff of stuff that we weren't using in our collection anymore. And this is what I made and I really like those colours together. Very me. Very pretty and we're in autumn here so it's quite autumn and I've got my orange shirt on to go with the orange. So yeah, um, thanks for staying and chatting with me and watching my get pretty with me and I will see you next time. Thanks. I already said that. <laughs> so bye everyone, have a great day.